Bonté, à Paris, à Salam Alaikum, bonjour, welcome to HinduDigital.com. And now, here's what you're going to do. You're going to select all these vertices here. Can you see which ones I've selected? Uh -huh. Except only these ones. In other words, we've even selected these vertices now. Okay? And now, of course, to them, we're going to add our FFD 4x4x4 modifier. Testing it first, of course, if it's going to work. Select these vertices here. Mm -hmm. Now, those are going to move outwards, as you can see at this point. Mm -hmm. Meaning, of course, that the ones below, behind them, no, they shouldn't be moved at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see what you've done at first. Pulling these outwards. And something tells me they also need to go up. Like that. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. This is really quite an interesting structure. As you can see, the way it's adjusting itself. And with the pulling and pushing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, the ones at the back, we are simply going to... Should we select them? Uh -huh. We are simply going to scale them down, as you can see, on the x-axis. And move them further, closer to each other. Okay? And we are also going to stretch it out, as you can see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now turn on again the shell modifier. Mm -hmm. Of course, at this point you can see more or less the result that we are going to have. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Looking quite good indeed. Eh? Uh -huh. Let's select again our FFD 4x4x4 4 4 4 modifier. Let's go to the back. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pull these backwards. And further inwards. Mm -hmm. and I think they can they can kind of come let's see down. Yeah, they can actually be positioned like that. Mm-hmm. Now the look of this vertices is a bit annoying at this point. Mm -hmm. So we're simply going to go to the edit poly modifier and then uncheck the vertices and click back on the on the shell modifier mm -hmm. so of course now we get back to what we were working on of course and then we want to get rid of certain things but before then okay let's yeah let's go ahead and add another edit poly modifier we want to we want to make sure that we want to make sure that uh, this structure can be duplicated properly because we are going to use the power of the mirror or the symmetry modifier to duplicate this structure. So, we, be, for the symmetry modifier to work properly, we need to get rid of the middle polygons. So, select the edit poly modifier, and then we are going to select these polygons here that are, that is sitting between the two. As you can see, I'm not selecting these ones here at the very end because they, they don't make part of what is needed for the mirror, for the mirror uh, modifier, okay? So just go ahead and select each of these polygons. Mm -hmm. Again, I've not selected the ones at the end here, okay? So after you've selected them, simply hit delete. Of course, right now you can see it leaves a big opening for us. Mm -hmm. If you go back to the shell modifier, you'll notice you can still increase the size of the shell. Okay. Yeah. And then after we've deleted those, we're going to let's see. Um, yeah. If we come to the top viewport, you'll notice that these vertices here do not make up a straight line. These ones here. Now, if we go ahead and add a mirror effect to it the results won't go well. Why? Because we need to make sure that this is a perfectly straight line. Okay? So, before doing that, we first want to position this object here properly in the middle. So, select it. Let's see. We need to bring it to zero units on the x-axis. Like that. Mm -hmm. Let's 
move it a bit like that okay and then we're going to select the vertices mode and we're going to select all these vertices of course that make up the edge there mm -hmm. yeah, you can see what they are of course just those ones mm -hmm. we make we need to make them flat by clicking on the make planner okay it's when you scroll down under edit vert edit geometry you're going to see the option there make planner on the X axis so click on that and by doing that just like that you're going to notice it makes them it aligns them perfectly on the X axis in a very 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 straight line let's just examine the scene from here uh-huh yeah you can see what I was talking about okay yeah once it has done that then we are ready to move them to zero units on the X axis so simply with those vertices still selected we come down here and then right click on the scroll uh-huh by doing that of course now the vertices are exactly at zero units on the X axis okay and then we go to the hierarchy panel we are doing all this just to make sure that when we mirror it it goes well we are going to click on the affect pivot only and then select the pivot tool and then we are going to move the pivot to zero units on the X axis like that uh -huh. and of course we just want to move it a bit like that to the center okay mm -hmm. now let's see if our predictions were right we are going to add a mirror modifier like that okay make sure it's a copy Ch so you you need to check the copy option aha uh -huh. and by doing that can you see what we've done uh-huh the object has now been duplicated perfectly on the x-axis as you can see by changing the offset you can see of course how what a great job we've done to align those middle vertices here perfectly on the on the x-axis and now if we go ahead and add our mesh smooth modifier mm -hmm. let's see change the iterations to three mm -hmm. I'm going to turn off the edge faces aha can you see what a beautiful structure that we're having right there okay let me just try and move it that way mm -hmm. so of course you can always go back to the shell modifier and increase the amount and by doing that of course you can see what a bigger shell it gives us maybe 15 should do okay hmm. this is quite interesting I must say <laughs> hmm and I think I want to give mine here more groove so I'm going to give um, okay you'll notice now I'm going to go back to my shell modifier that's why I didn't collapse anything yet as I told you so that you can be able to easily adjust anything so for the shell segments maybe I want to give it three segments and I'm simply going to move the shell modifier here a bit up uh -huh, in the stack here mm -hmm. by simply moving the, modif the shell modifier up just below the mesh smooth modifier you notice now it has created this nice cut here and of course what I was looking for this nice strong edges here after all this is a machine okay of course this simply helps with this muscular look I don't care about the fact that it looks divided I just like the way it looks and of course you can go ahead and modify the structure according to the way you like and now of course before jumping the bridge we need to make sure of course the colors the which colors is our our object going to take okay to work properly let's go back to the edit poly modifier and uh, yeah you notice now the shell modify the mirror effect disappears to work faster we're going to right click on the mesh smooth modifier then turn it off for now okay of course make sure you're working on the edge faces okay now let's go ahead and select which polygons will make it so we're going to select these polygons here sorry actually right click on the mirror effect also turn it off okay and also turn off the shell modifier good hmm. I just love this eh? the ability to go back to things and just modify them <laughs> anyway so we're going to select these polygons here they are the ones that are going to be responsible for carrying the particular colors that you want them to carry in fact I think yeah it's best seen through the top viewport this way I just love 3d max I mean the ability to do all 
all these kind of things, I mean, <laughs> it's just incredible. Power of the world in the palm of our hands, indeed, eh? Uh -huh. So you can see, of course, I'm trying to follow a particular curve. Uh -huh, you'll notice. So you can see which polygons I've selected at this point. Okay. Now since this color will have to reflect as to the main color of our robot, we are going to give it a material ID of, of course, 1 because it's the most important. Uh -huh. And then we go to Edit, Select, Invert. Now it's going to select these ones here. Now they can have a material ID of 2. And then finally, we are simply going to select only these polygons along here and they will need to have a material ID of 3, like that, okay? Uh -huh. And then back to our mirror effects and our shell modifier and of course our mesh smooth. Now if I bring up the material editor now, select any of these empty slots here, we're going to name it to head. Mm -hmm. Give it to our structure. Click on the standard button and for now make it multi sub object and then discard all materials. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We're going to copy this blue color here. Let's come here to the head. For so for the material ID of one, we're going to paste our color. Uh-huh. And of course you can see how quickly it updates our texture there. For number two, we can let's leave it alone for now. And then for the third material, I'm simply going to play around and just give it, yeah, just a texture to distinguish it from the rest of things. Uh huh. Can you see? Of course, what a beautiful structure we have. <laughs> I feel so proud of the results, ladies and gentlemen. This is quite astonishing. It almost looks like a a, a cyclist's helmet. You know, you know those guys who drive very quickly in the Tour de France. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the helmet, almost. <laughs> yeah, anyways, we're going to select the other part of the head there. And, of course, our idea is to move it also into position. Mm -hmm. Now, this one's main function will be to hold uh, the primary eyes of our robot. And it just needs to be moved down. Oh yeah, it doesn't have any mesh moving associated with it. Um, let's see what should we do for it. Okay, let's give it three segments as we did with the with the with the other one. Let's just confirm that things are going well in the first place. Mm -hmm. Extrude. I'm just going to increase the number of the extrude amount, and also we're going to push it inside. And also, it needs to come down to give some room between between it and uh, the larger part of the head of the robot. Mm -hmm. This is quite beautiful, I must say. We're going to go back to the FFD 3x3x3 three by three by three modifier. Pick up these control points here in the middle and just drag them out like that. Okay. And of course, we're going to add our beloved edit poly modifier once more. Pick up the polygons, and of course, you know what we need to do. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, let's put the, sh the edit poly modifier just below the shell modifier, and then hide. No, no, no. Actually, we can turn it back on. Yeah, let's actually move it up, back up again. Uh huh. We're going to pick up these polygons here. That should not be here. Yeah, begin to delete them. Mm-hmm. Beautiful stuff. Okay. And then of course we need to pick up the vertices. Press F3 to see through the wireframe. Uh-huh. And of course, we need to align them 
firstly make them planar on the x-axis and then of course move them to zero unit on the x-axis okay and then we're going to go to the hierarchy panel affect pivot only and then of course we need to move it to zero unit on the x-axis like that uh -huh. beautiful stuff okay and then let's see we're going to add our mirror mm -hmm. make it of course a copy okay mm -hmm. you can see of course where the mirror is going to sit such a perfect job we've done but of course we first need to go back to the edit poly modifier let's turn off the mirror and the shell for now because of course we need to give the proper materials to our head uh -huh. and now of course we're going to select the polygon mode let's come up here and we need to select polygons from all the way down there uh -huh. uh, you can see of course which polygons we're selecting beautiful stuff and then we're going to click on the grow button so that it also select those along that line mm -hmm. and of course they need to have a material ID of 1 okay and then we go to edit select inverts so that it's only select those that are remaining now th those can have a material ID of 2 mm -hmm. and then of course finally select the age mode select that age and then we're going to ring them and we are going to connect them just move the slide of the connection a bit like that actually like that okay back to the polygon mode and let's just select these ones here and they of course can have a material ID of 3 like that okay mm -hmm. and then select the vertices mode we are going to pick all the vertices except the ones on that side and we simply want to move them a few units to the to the other side and then pick up these vertices that were left there mm -hmm, and just move them a bit closer like that okay mm -hmm. yeah we can turn back on the shell modifier and the mirror hmm it seems the shell modifier is not happy anymore <laughs> Oh, it seems we've messed it up, really. Oh, my goodness. What can we do to fix it? Let's see. Hmm, the shell modifier is really not happy. Let's see, but I'm sure there's a way around. Hmm, let's see simply going to delete the shell modifier for now let's see oh yeah I see the problem okay don't worry don't worry turn off the mirror effect for now mm -hmm. select those vertices over there uh -huh. move them again to zero units on the x-axis okay back to the mirror turn on the mirror mm -hmm. you can see now things are kind of working better again and then of course we're going to add again the shell modifier mm -hmm. of course reduce certain amounts oh yeah uh -huh. and then let's see we are going to add the mesh smoothing mm -hmm. let's see two or three turn on turn off the edge faces aha what a beautiful structure we have indeed let me see if we go back to the shell modifier and let's try to increase the amount of course uh -huh, you can tell nicely it's giving us a thicker thicker size of the head indeed this is quite quite beautiful indeed please go ahead and save your scene before you lose it <laughs> okay we are now ready to create the eyes of our robot and before we proceed we actually need to move the legs a bit out of the way so simply go ahead and select all these parts that make up the leg mm -hmm. 
select those parts and simply move them to the left hand side for now okay yeah and then we are going to zoom in here at the front here we're going to select a cylinder make it auto grid and then we're going to draw a cylinder here mm -hmm. as you can see to occupy the space of the eye yeah, we just want to scale it just a bit bigger like that mm -hmm. let's move it backwards for now of course we need to manipulate its settings as follows let's go to the modify panel let's change the number of sides to 24 mm -hmm. and then the height segments in fact you know what this is an object that we really don't want to apply mesh smoothing to so let's give it as many sides as possible so I think up to let's see see just where it's round enough yeah 50 sides should be enough okay in that way then we can be able to reduce the number of height segments to one okay and then let's go ahead and then we're going to right click and make this an editable polygon of course select the polygon and then we're going to create the shape of the eye out of this polygon here mm -hmm. select it and then we're going to apply an inset modifier mm -hmm of course you can see what the inset modifier does for us hit ok and at first we want to move it outwards like that our idea is trying to create this kind of containing object for our eye of course not an exact replicate but something beautiful to look at okay mm -hmm. we're going to apply another inset again this time let's increase amount a bit and this time we want to push the eye object inwards as you can see now as what you're looking at now is actually the eyepiece so we need to detach it from the rest of the geometry by clicking of course on the detach button call it eye okay and of course this structure itself we're going to call it eyelid mm -hmm. it's the eyelid uh -huh. and then here's what you're going to do we're going to select the eye select the moving tool you can see its pivot point is a bit far, far away so we need to fix that by going to the hierarchy panel affect pivot only and then center to object like that and now of course we can move the eye object out of the way like that uh -huh. now let's select the eyelid itself we're going to select the border mode select the inner border that we left open there and then of course I'm going to shift and drag backwards as you can see and further back mm -hmm. so this will constitute a tunnel through which our eye can move forward or backwards and of course we need to close off that gap while still having the border selected we're going to click on cap and of course as you can see by doing that it simply closes off the eye tunnel let's select the eye again and then we're going to open up the material editor we need to select one of these empty slots here maybe this one here uh -huh. and then call it eye uh, primary because this will be actually the primary eye since uh, our object has actually got four eyes this one will constitute the set of primary eyes uh -huh. give it the texture okay and then let's simply move it back into position actually we might want to give it a shell modifier just to give it some thickness okay like that mm -hmm. just a nice shell modifier then let's move it back into position of course mm -hmm. and then we're going to select the eyelid object and we're going to attach again our eye oh sorry sorry let's not do that let's first select first the eyelid let's actually rename it to high eye holder mm -hmm. open up the material editor actually let's copy this name uh -huh. open up the material editor 
select an empty slot there and of course we're going to paste the name of the texture here I hold the primary okay yeah it can have uh, this orangish color for now or this purplish color that is yeah it's fine so let's give it that texture mm -hmm. and now of course we're going to attach back the eye make sure you match material edits to material okay so that of course now there once more one object